Let's keep going. Number 15, which of the following is the best particular representation of the species other than water that are present in significant concentrations in the solution at point U in the titration? Well, think about what's, it, what's at U, right? Well, if you're at point U, that means we are already done with the whole titration and now it's just a lot more basic. So all the acids must have all disappeared by now because at right there at the... Uh, right here at the equivalence points, your water is already all consumed. Well, no, not water, I'm sorry. Your acid is already all consumed up. There's no more H plus remaining in this whole thing. So if you're at point U, all the H pluses are now gone and all you got is just some basic stuff, right? And perhaps some leftover ions from the salt. So let's take a look at what would happen. So first of all, you look at the answer choices and you should immediately get rid of choice C and D because once again, all these acids are gone. They, they're not there anymore. They already all disappeared at that's right there, the equivalence point. All the acids are gone by that equivalence point. So between A and B, what do we have? Well, once again, it should be all basic, something very basic. So if you take a look at A, well, you got this, the conjugate base coming out from your acid and you have the sodium ion. Well, A is terribly wrong because if that were to be the case, the PA should be exactly at seven because that's very neutral. Once again, at point U, look at the pH. That's like above 12, right? So we should be looking at something basic, meaning we need some base to be present. Look at choice B. We have the little hydroxide, which will make it basic, and that's why it's answer choice B.